I got told the other day a way that you know if a person is old is if they're wearing eyeshadow. Because if you're young and cool, you don't wear eyeshadow anymore. Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a new makeup releases style video, but we're going to be focusing on eyeshadow palettes because there's been a lot of, lot of chatter lately of is eyeshadow dead or eyeshadow palettes completely over. And then it seems like a lot of brands are coming out with a lot of eyeshadow palettes right now. I wanted to do a sort of will I buy it, new makeup releases, just kind of talking about eyeshadow palettes, some of the new ones that are being released, some of the new ones that I have in my collection and some of my thoughts on them. So if you want to chat all about eyeshadow palettes, let's get into it. So I'm going to scoot over a little bit. Like I said, I do have a few eyeshadow palettes that I will also be showing um, in the video, but I also just wanted to discuss a few of the new makeup releases. This is definitely what I've seen a lot of people talking about right now. I've seen a lot of Instagram stories with the new palettes. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos already going up with the new palettes. So I just thought it would be fun to discuss some of these. So one that I wanted to start off with is Fantasy Cosmetica because they've actually had a release recently that I really, really love that I want to shout out. And then they have a new release, which I think is on its way to me, or I just got back from Greece literally last night and I'm filming this in the morning or well, the afternoon. So it might still be in my mailbox, but I am trying to get unpacked and do all the things from being gone for like nine days or something. But if this is in my mailbox, I'm going to be very excited. We have the Harvest of Souls palette. There's also a single candle coming out or you can purchase two candles. Also the full collection bundle and free US shipping is $110. If you were to do the just the Harvest of Souls palette, that's $55. The candle is $30. Or if you do both candles, that is $58. So Fantasy Cosmetica has such a nice formula. In one of my recent Get Ready With Me videos, I used the Cradled in Ice palette. And this one is so pretty. And I love purple shadows. I have a little bit of purple on today. I'll be sharing the palette that I am wearing in just a bit. But I really like the Cradled in Ice. And I've tried a handful of palettes from Fantasy Cosmetica. And I really, really like the formula. This palette looks so pretty with some of these greens in here. We have some purples. We have this kind of like... I don't know if I want to say grungy. I feel like that's not the word I'm going for, but I, I really like the vibes of this palette and some of these shimmers in here look so beautiful. One palette that I wanted to shout out from Fantasy Cosmetica is their new Enchanted Autumn palette. And this is a collaboration with my friend Amanda or Makeup Just For Fun. And this palette is so, so stunning. And I feel like it kind of has similar vibes. I mean, I feel like with Fantasy Cosmetica, I wish, I'm trying to think of a certain word, and I feel like Linda from Glitter Fallout, when we were in Palm Springs, I feel like she had a good word for, I think we were talking about the Enchanted Autumn palette, and she had such a good word. Moody? Moody? Maybe that's the word I'm going for. Like, I think she said it was like a moody palette. That's kind of what I feel like Fantasy Cosmetica's vibe is. Like, not every single palette, not every single release, but they kind of have these more like moody palettes, if you will. But this Enchanted Autumn palette is beautiful. I've been talking to everybody about it. I also really, really love the lip oils. I actually have one on today. It's more of like the orangey one. I have the MAC Whirl lip liner on just all over, and then I put a little bit of that lip oil on. I also brought it with me in my travel makeup bag. The video might already be up. Um, like I mentioned, I just went to Greece. It was a group travel trip. So a bunch of the Sam squad was there. My girlfriend Angelica was there. So we shared what everyone brought for their eyeshadow palette and also their lippies. And one of the lippies that I brought is from the Makeup Just For Fun collection. So this palette is so, so beautiful. I have a look that I did um, that's up as a short form video. I also have swatches from the palette. So this one is definitely one that I would recommend. But also if you love, again, just kind of another moody palette, then the Harvest of Souls could be a good um, launch for you to pick up as well. If I do get it in PR, let me know if you'd want to see some looks with it. I'm sure I'll probably have a PR haul, PR haul coming. Um, since I just got back from another trip. I do also have a discount code with Fantasy Cosmetica. It is Samantha if there's anything that you're interested in, but let me know if you're gonna pick up the Harvest of Souls palette or if you grabbed anything from Amanda's collab. Another indie launch that I wanted to mention because this palette is so, so fun. This is from Odin's Eye and this is the Eternal Twilight palette. Okay. So I will say this is a larger palette. I like what they did with this one. And I like, I totally get the vibes. I like the way that it's broken up in here. To me, would I buy this on my own? Probably not because I do like a little bit of a smaller palette, but I really like the Odin's Eye eyeshadow formula. They're always one I mention in a top, um, like my top three. I say Natasha Denona, Sigma Beauty, Sigma Beauty Odin's Eye. 
It's been a minute since I filmed the video, can you tell? But I really, really enjoyed this formula and this palette is so stunning and they have some really fun shades in here. Like this nothingness, nothingness shade is just like so unique and fun. Also, Balder is another one that's just like these the like the the shimmers that they have in here the multi-chromes and the duo chromes like odin's eye just does something with their formula that is so beautiful so if this is another color story that you are loving i definitely wanted to give a shout out to the odin's eye eternal twilight palette because this one has been beautiful i actually grabbed it for this video it was sitting on my bathroom um vanity countertop because i've been using this one so much and really i've just been going into it for one shimmer and putting it all over my lids to me that is such an easy way to do eyeshadow these days and i mean i was told that you know someone is old if they're wearing eyeshadow because apparently the young crowd they don't be wearing eyeshadow right now apparently they're not wearing mascara either i guess that's dead too like i don't know what is going on and yet we have kids like flocking to sephora and ulta and i'm like what are y'all buying if you're not buying eyeshadows and mascaras like i'm, I'm so confused right now and yeah, I did feel like there was a lull for a minute in the new makeup releases. Even though I don't do the Will I Buy It series every single Wednesday like I used to do for six years, I still have a bit of a pulse on the beauty community and I see what's coming out and I watch other people's new makeup releases videos. And for a while there, there really was like a dry spell when it came to eyeshadow palettes. And all of a sudden, it's just been like bang, 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 palette after palette after palette and a lot of really good palettes. I did a video recently talking about is bad makeup dead and it's because there's so many good releases coming out and brands like they really seem to got it down they got their formulas down they have these beautiful packaging uh for their palettes down but this one from odin's eye i definitely wanted to give a shout out to because i think it's so beautiful and i've been wearing it so much again i have a discount code with odin's eye and that one is samantha okay, i see a new halloween release that is coming from glam light the official reveal of the world's first licensed Michael Myers palette is here. This palette captures the true essence of Halloween with buttery mattes and dazzling, dazzling diamond iridescent shimmers inspired by the iconic Halloween franchise. The Welcome to Haddonfield palette comes encased in a custom luxury collector's box featuring 3D cutouts of the horror icon himself. Woo! It is only $34 for this eyeshadow palette. And there's a few other um, releases with the collection as well. I think the color story in here is really fun. Um, like I like the the blues and the oranges. I think that they are really complementary with one another. Now for me, I don't wear blue eyeshadow a ton. I do like orange, especially like orange with green eyes. I have a little bit of like an orange, like multi-chrome moment going on um, on my eyes right now. So I really, I actually thought the color story looked more interesting than when I initially saw Glam Light was doing the Halloween palette. Like. I, I used to get PR like here and there from Glam Light, um, and I've gotten their like their Chucky palette, which actually kind of surprised me in how much I liked this like deeper, grungy like jewel tone type of palette. So for me, when when I saw Halloween, I was like, yeah, I'm probably not gonna be into it. And then I saw the palette, and I was like. Actually, that's not bad. Again, I don't love the blues, so it's not gonna be something that I purchase for myself. And again, I'm discussing a few new eyeshadow palettes that I have right now. There's also some palettes that I'm gonna be talking about coming up that I'm going to be purchasing as well. So I don't feel, I don't necessarily feel um, a FOMO at this moment with eyeshadows. Maybe it's because I just watched Lauren May's video, Lauren May Beauty's video on, um, uh, kind of like cutting down her makeup collection and going from these giant drawers of makeup to like a little like hanging makeup bag behind her door. And I really love the video. I thought it was really inspiring. And um, it's definitely a journey that I've been on myself as well as cutting down makeup. And it's a reason why I don't do new makeup releases every single week now, because I felt like it was definitely playing into me wanting to continually buy all the new makeup. But it doesn't mean that I don't still enjoy seeing what's coming out and that I don't enjoy talking to you about it. Uh, again, I just took that group travel trip to Greece where, you know, a lot of people who were on that trip are from my community. So the thing that kind of brings us together is beauty and makeup and talking about the products. And then of course, you know, we find other things in common, um, but it's kind of like the common denominator that we all have with one another as we do these, these trips. Um, so I still enjoy like talking about it, seeing the comments, seeing what people are interested in. So I'm curious if you're gonna be getting anything from the Glamlight Halloween collection. 
And I'll say, even though I'm not gonna get it, it definitely intrigued me more than I maybe thought it was going to. All right, and then one more release from an indie brand that I wanna talk about, it's actually the eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing today. And this is from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Chicago Speakeasy palette. I had this in my last PR haul and I was so excited when I saw this. So Nomad Cosmetics is the brand that really intrigues me and I really like their travel palettes because I love traveling so much. If you don't know, I have been doing so much travel in the year of 2024. I just got back from Greece. Also this year, I've done Italy, I've done Barbados, I've done Iceland, I've done Ireland. Um, I've done smaller US trips here and there. I just recently got back from Portland, Maine. Um, next year, I'm doing some really fun trips. I'm hosting a group travel trip to Bali. That, just, that information is in the description box and on my Instagram. I'm going back to Greece next year with my best friend, Angie. Um, I'm also going to Belize. And then Angie and I just announced that we are hosting a friends weekend. We've done a couple of these in 2024 in Austin and in Portland. Next year, we're gonna host a weekend in April in Miami. So that was announced in our Get Ready With Me that we did from Greece. So I love traveling and I love the concept that Nomad does with their palettes and how they have um, the different themes. I think I have another one right in front of me. This is their Fuji Five Lakes palette, which is so stunning. I'd mentioned this in a previous review video as well. And I really like the Nomad um, eyeshadow formula. I think that it's really beautiful. And I thought it was so fun to see Chicago. I'm from Iowa, so I'm a Midwest girl. I'm a Chicago Cubs fan. I'm also a published author of nine novels and the series that I'm currently writing, The Six, is set in Chicago. So. You know, I, I love me some Chicago and I thought this was so cute with the imprints in here. The color scheme I think is so interesting. So for today, I did a little bit of the Violet Hour, which is like a cool toned, like light purple. And then Gin Ricky is what I have all over the lid. And it's like so many different shifts of color. It's like a little bit of orange. It's like some pink. It's like some gold. I just wanted something kind of simple. I did a short form tutorial on it, which will probably already be up on YouTube. But I just think this palette is so, so pretty. And again, I'm a big fan of the Nomad formula. I love the velvet packaging as well. So I definitely wanted to give this one a shout out too. Again, discount code with Nomad is going to be Samantha. I try to keep my code Samantha on most websites. Sometimes it's like, Samantha 10 or 20. Um, I know ColourPop is a little bit different because it's March Beauty, which is my Instagram handle, it's March Beauty Word. But I try to keep it Samantha. So if you're ever on my website and you're like, I just wonder if there's a code, <laughs> just try Samantha and see if it works out for you. Moving over into some more mainstream brands. So we have the ColourPop and their Bratz collection. I think this has been delivered to me as well when I was looking at the packages that were coming in. So let me know if you wanna see anything with the Bratz palette but this is the, the palette is called Girls Night Out Palette. There's some other products in there. There's body glitter, liquid liners, plumping glosses, lippy kits, and individual hair and face palettes. Well, I am familiar with Bratz. I'm not super hip with the times, but but like I'm I'm sort of familiar with like a Bratz doll. And I know that's like a big, what, was, what were people saying? Like it's like a Bratz summer or something like that. I think I had a Bratz summer. Maybe I didn't. I honestly, I don't know. I don't even know how it's actually. I don't even what, what's fall like. Cabbage Patch Kids fall. American Girl doll fall. American Girl doll fall. Anyways, the Bratz palette is cute. It, it's not something that I feel like particularly drawn to myself. Like, oh, I absolutely have to have this in my collection. Again, I'm not a big like Bratz girl myself, so maybe that's part of it. But like. I don't mind the color scheme in here. It doesn't make me faint. I, I'm not, again, like I said, I'm not like clamoring to go get this release, but it's one of those that if I got it, like I would try it. The last row to me is a little on like, I don't use a lot of these really dark tones as much. I do like to have some options in the palettes though, because I especially do a lot of liner. Again, I wanted to keep today's eye look really, really simple, um, but a lot of times I do eyeshadow eyeliner. And so I, I like having darker options in there. Um, are you picking up anything from the Bratz collection? This is something you felt like you had to have. Again, my code with ColourPop is March Beauty. if you're interested in that. I know they just had a Stranger Things collection. I unboxed that in my last PR haul as well. And I'm curious, I'm curious what will be coming out with for holiday time. All right, this next one is not an eyeshadow palette, but these are some eyeshadow duos that are launching from Patrick Ta Beauty, and this is for holiday. Okay, so I don't have a lot of information on them yet. I'm sharing a photo from hotfire.makeup. I'll link, I, I've been using photos from Trendmood and hotfire.makeup in this video, so I always like to link them for credit in my description box. These, I will say, I think we were in Greece when these got shown, and both Angie and I were like, my initial thought was like, oh, these look really pretty. 
I'm definitely interested in at least grabbing like one of these. I think I would be curious to try out. I like the Patrick Ta eyeshadow formula. I bought the Major Dimension 1 palette. I liked it so much I bought the Major Dimension 2 palette. And so when I saw these duos, I especially love sparkly eyeshadow. That is what I'm into right now. And makeup preferences change so much. How I do my makeup changes so much. And I kind of get like, for me, I feel like I get really fixated on something. Like I love this skin tint. That's what I'm wearing for the next two months. I love eyeshadow eyeliner. That's what I'm wearing all of the time now. And for me, when it comes to eyeshadow, it is definitely shimmery. I love going into a palette like the um, Eternal Twilight and just grabbing one shimmer shade from here and putting it all over my lids and like calling it a day. That is what I love right now. So for me, looking at these eyeshadow duels, I'm like, hey, hey, I think I could really get on with these. And I feel from what I can see from the photo, I feel like they'd probably also be travel friendly, which is good. I still have, at the time I'm filming, I have two more trips, two more trips coming up in 2024, both domestic trips and both just trips to see some of my girlfriends but it would be nice for a travel makeup bag or something along those lines. I don't see the prices on these yet, so I'm waiting to see that, and I don't see like an official launch date. I am filming a little bit further in advance for this one, but just because I'm, I'm home and I have so much editing to catch up on, I figured I do have an event tonight in Las Vegas that I'm going to, so I was like, I'm ready, I might as well film a video while I'm here. So if the date has been announced, I will put that information in the description box as well, but I'm definitely planning to pick up at least one duo of these from Patrick Top. We also have new eyeshadow palettes coming out from Anastasia Beverly Hills, again, also for holiday. We have the mini spice palette and the sugar palette. These are both going to be $29. For the mini spice, it says nine shades from warm tone neutrals to brilliant gold and matte and metallic finishes. Look like the sugar palette is going to be um, similar the nine pan palette like similar packaging on these I will say for these I don't really get stirred when I see them I didn't do a double take I wasn't like ooh. and because I still have a couple of releases that I'm talking about that I'm more interested in I know that means that I can skip over them for me it looks like the mini if I was gonna like choose between the two I would probably get the mini spice palette I do like the Anastasia formula um, like the sultry palette continues to be one of my favorites but nothing about these releases really jumped out at me. I'm not surprised to see them coming out with, you know, some smaller palettes for holiday time, but I can't say out of all of the eyeshadow releases that are going on right now, but that one really caught my attention. I know this one has been getting so much hype, the new eyeshadow palette from Makeup by Mario. This again is for holiday. It's the Ethereal Eyes eyeshadow palette in Moonlight. So this one is going to be, I thought it said my battery was dying, but it's not, uh, $68. It says 12 universal neutral shades and four finishes to create your most versatile ethereal looks yet. The glossy shimmer finish is a new pearl infused formula that adorns eyelids with a reflective wet looking shine. There's also a new suede satin finish, has a smooth suede texture with a demi silky sheen for subtle luminosity. The suede matte finish delivers enhanced grip for rich color, while the neutral metallic finish amplifies shine with micronized pigments. So this is gonna be available already. There's also some new products coming out like their mini sculpt and pop on the go. Um, it's a mini set with contour and blush sticks. Okay. I feel like this is an unpopular opinion, but when I saw this one, I didn't get that hyped about it. And I want to be because I'm already seeing so many people have already put videos out about it. So many people will be ordering it right away. Everyone's clamoring to get their one look done, their two look done, their three looks done with this palette. And I'm over here like, okay, I, I don't mind it. And I like cool tones and I like neutrals. I'm not sure, I'm kind of almost bothered. Like, I, I'm like I'm kind of bothered that I didn't want this palette more because I feel like I'm not sitting with the cool kids right now. And I love sitting with the cool kids. I wanna go here, I wanna go there, I wanna go everywhere. I wanna be with the cool kids. I wanna fit in, I want everyone to love me. I like, I want it all. But I just feel like this is one that like the cool kids are not gonna accept me. Listen, the young crowd is not gonna accept me because I wear eyeshadow, the cool kids aren't gonna accept me because I don't want this Makeup by Mario palette. But I'm like, man, I don't know if it's because the, just, again, I don't want to buy every single new makeup release. I don't want to hoard makeup. I don't want to like collect makeup the way that I did in 2016, 2017. Um, so I don't know if maybe that's playing into it that I'm like, Samantha, you're really interested in the Patrick Ta duos. The indie eyeshadow palettes right now that I touched on in the beginning of this video, those are all fire palettes at this moment and they are so good. They're what I'm reaching for so much. Then of course I already have 
my favorite staple palettes that I've had in my collection that I love. <laughs> so, you know, I don't need to be so inundated with eyeshadow palettes, but I'm kind of bummed at myself. Like, I'm super curious to hear your thoughts. Do you love it? To me, it just didn't spark that like, mm, in me, you know? And that's what I want. If I'm gonna be, especially that's a $68 eyeshadow palette, like, I wanna feel some kind of spark with it. But let me know if you're gonna get that one from Makeup by Mario. And then we'll finish it off with what I'm seeing a lot about. And a lot of you know that I love Natasha Denona. So she has a couple of new releases going on. I wanted to touch on this for holiday as well. This one is limited edition minis. We have the baby I Need a Nude eyeshadow kit. So it's $27. It's a mini palette with three shades from the I Need a Nude palette. There's a sparkling foiled champagne, a matte medium warm dusty rose, and a matte light dusty rose in here. Plus the mini macro tech eye crayon and a nude taupe shade. There's also the mini rose cheek duo adornment and this is $20 and it's a blush and a highlight. I really do love the mini cheek duos from Natasha Denona. I've had like the bronzer and highlight one. I've had a blush and highlight one. Honestly, if she came out with a mini blush and bronzer, I would buy that in a heartbeat. Like Natasha will come out with that. I will buy that in a heartbeat because um, I just don't wear highlight as much. I know for me with the mini bronze and glow that I had, I would do the the shimmer on my eyes instead, but the bronzer shade was super beautiful. But truly, the baby palette looks so cute. If you have been wanting to try Natasha palettes or anything along those lines, or you just want like a little something to add to your collection, I love that she comes out with the babies. We have the babies, we have the minis, the midis, the larger eyeshadow palettes. It's like there's a little something for everybody and whatever you need. And I'm not gonna lie, like I have the I Need a Nude palette, so I don't feel like I need the baby, but I'm like, that would be such a nice little travel companion to have. I know in the Grease travel bags, someone had the baby, one of the babies from Natasha. I can't remember which palette it was, um, but someone was traveling and I was like, I get it, like three shades. Like I feel like I could go into this baby palette and just know what I was doing every time and it would be so quick and easy to do. So I think that one is super cute. Like, do I need it? No, but it was definitely one that I was like, oh wait, she cute. I do have a discount code with Natasha on the website and that one is Samantha March. Samantha March is my code on natashadenona.com. And speaking of Natasha, we will finish it off with the release that I've been getting tagged so much in and this is the Roxa palette. So when I saw this one, I was like, well, I'm intrigued because I love Natasha Denona. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, it is my favorite brand for eyeshadow palettes. I buy so many of these. Like I mentioned, I do have the affiliate code, but I don't get from I don't get PR from Natasha, so I do tend to buy any of the releases that really call to me. And recently, I've been loving the I Need a Warm palette. It's what I've been wearing so much. Um, I took it with me on my recent trip to Greece. It's been in my travel makeup bag. I really love the mixture of the mattes, the browns. I love the multi-chrome in there. That's what I've been wearing the most of, and I just think that it's so beautiful. So when I saw this, I was like, okay. This is a limited edition palette, 15 shades with different finishes. It's, it's going to be $69, available October 19th on the website, and Sephora and Ulta on October 20th. I, like I mentioned, I love me some purples. Pinks, I'm not, at, I, I don't wear pinks as much. I think it can be a little bit of a tougher color to pull off. So I feel like my eyes, when I first saw it, they kind of gravitated just towards the pinks. And I was like, okay, get over that. Looking at the purples, looking at some of these special shades in there, I'm really excited that Natasha is doing this in her palettes. I know when I was talking to Andrew, she was like, I didn't really love the I Need a Warm because I felt like the multi-chrome was just kind of like random. And I was like, yes, I agree, it's random, but I love it. It is my most worn shade in that palette because it's just so fun and funky and easy to use. So when I look at the Roxa palette, that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this one. Again, Natasha has a more expensive formula, but I tend to buy a lot of the palettes that I'm interested in. Because this one is limited edition, I love the packaging on it as well. I am planning to pick this one up. So um, the, at the day that I'm filming, it's not available yet. I think it's like two more days and it will come out, but I am planning to pick it up. Let me know if you wanna see like one or two looks with it, three looks. A lot of times with the Natasha releases, I do swatching every single shade on my eyes. If you would find that helpful, let me know. But this is one I'm definitely planning to getting. I'm definitely planning on getting. And again, if you want to pick up anything from Natasha, my code is Samantha March. So those are some of the new releases that I wanted to touch on, specifically highlighting the eyeshadow palettes that are coming out right now. What do you think? Do you think eyeshadow palettes are dead? Do you think wearing eyeshadow makes you old? I would love to hear your thoughts on what you're picking up. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.